Now we want to go to a part of the system where we are still in the radio subsystem and we concentrate on the base transceiver station and the base station controller. So this part here, the antenna, so to say, and something, the base station controller, which is controlling these base stations, these base transceiver stations. And in this area of the network, of the radio subsystem, the two main components are the base station controller and the base transceiver station. The base transceiver station actually is almost like an antenna, an antenna with the digital signal processing. So this antenna is then able to receive the signals, to decode the signals on the physical layer, and to forward these packets to the base station controller. And the base transceiver station does not actually decide which mobile station to allow the access. It just forwards this decision, just forwards the packages which impact the decision to the base station controller. And the base station controller then further on tells the base transceiver station to allow this mobile station to occupy the channel, to occupy a burst, and then the mobile station gets the acknowledgement about this assignment and can further on make the call or transmit the data. Similar things happen when the mobile station is addressed from an incoming call. So when the mobile station should be reached from, an, from a call outside of the network or inside the mobile network from a different mobile user. And then the call, the paging information actually first comes from the mobile switching center. And the mobile switching center then asks the base station controller if it can page for the mobile station. The mobile station will then answer if it is in the area of the base transceiver station. The base station controller knows then that the mobile station is in a specific area and can take control over the communication by acknowledging this assignment to the mobile station. And then the mobile station finally can get the call from outside the mobile switching center, then routes all the traffic via the base station controller to the base transceiver station. If we look into these two processes, then we might have a mobile station here. We have the BTS, which is connected via the air interface to the mobile station, and the BSC is connected to the BTS and further on to the mobile switching center, to the MSC. And now let's say the mobile station wants to set up a call to a different user then it requests first it sends a packet to the base transceiver station the base transceiver station decodes the electromagnetic waves received at the antenna forwards the received packet to the base transceiver station and the base transceiver station then decides if there should be a channel assigned to the mobile station the base transceiver station then transfers this into electromagnetic waves and transmits it out to the mobile station. And then the mobile station further on can use this channel for transmission to the base station controller and then further on to the mobile switching center to the destination. Similar things happen if there is an incoming call. The mobile switching center then sends a paging message to the base station controller, forwards it to the base transceiver station. Base transceiver station transmits the information, the paging first out via the antennas. And then the mobile station, if it is in range, answers that it is present, that it is active. The answer is then transformed into the digital packet. The base station controller gets the information and the mobile switching center knows to which base station controller the call now is to switch and where the call, so to say, has its exact endpoint, where the mobile station exactly is. And besides this controlling of the base transceiver station, the base station controller also has to cooperate in the handover. Handover means that there is some movement taking place of the mobile station. So the mobile station, for example, is present in a car or in a bike and moves around through different cells with required connections to different antennas. 
and then handovers happen and the base station controller has to support exactly this handover. That's basically this controlling part, the control of the lower layers and the base station controller, the base transceiver stations are the main components in this area of the network.